Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something in particular and in this video, I'm going to be talking about evangelizing, right? And this is going to be on how to evangelize, you know, and it's really simple. All you really have to do is talk about the main two things and it's about repenting and trusting in Christ, right? And you can come up with analogies if you want, but the main point in evangelizing is repentance, right? And to repent means to turn from your sins, right? That way you're not committing those same sins. And then the second thing is trusting in Christ. And I know I used the parachute analogy before, right? And you could just say a simple trust, right? Like you're going to trust the conductor, right? Whoever's work in the boat to not crash into a pool of snakes right or something like that you know you're not going to be having that person who's driving the boat just go like oh look at that waterfall you know he's not going to be like all right let's go 100 miles per hour and just go off of it no you're going to have trust in whoever the conductor is on a boat or it could literally just be your doctor, or it could even just be trusting your toaster to make toast, you know? Like, you obviously still trust it, even if you're skeptical, you still trust it, of course, you know, because you put your toast in the toaster, you're not like, no, I don't trust this thing, I'm not even going to put my toast in, no, you're going to put your toast in, and wait like two minutes, if you're me, and then you're going to go... Have that toast, you're going to go spread butter on it, and then you're going to put some cinnamon on it, and then you're going to be having cinnamon toast, and it's really good. So, I don't know why I just described the whole process of making cinnamon toast, but dude, cinnamon toast is awesome, so why not? Anyways, my main point with evangelizing is that that's the main things you want to focus on, repenting and trusting. And re genuine repentance is turning from your sins and turning towards God. And it's not because of a fear of the Lord, you know, and the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It is true. It really is true that if you do fear the Lord, you're obviously going to abstain from doing sin. And here's something that I have to say, though. Fear alone won't work. And here's why. Because it's love which makes it work. You know, because if you genuinely love someone, and I'm going to use a personal example, right? So I have someone in my family who said that he loved me, right? And that he would always be there. Oh, well, actually, he said that he has always been there, right? <clears throat> Last time we talked was 2018. Really shows how he's always been there. Uh, but my main point is, and I also have like a story time on that. And that's a whole nother topic for another video. But my main point is, he said he loved me, right? But if you genuinely love somebody, you're going to go and be there for them. I'm not saying to move mountains. I'm not saying to make the earth shake. I'm not saying to just grab lightning by the hands and be like, yo, what up? No, you're going to be like a normal human being. But you're going to love them. You know, you're just going to be there for them. Help them with their issues, you know. Not just trying to make them feel bad and bl and belittle them for their issues. No, if you genuinely love somebody, you're going to abstain from sin, you know? Like, I'm just going to be real. And that was the main topic that I wanted to talk about in today's video alongside evangelizing, you know? Because that's really what makes me go out and evangelize in the first place, you know? It's love. It's not because I fear. Dude, if it were fear, that would not go far at all. Okay? And here's why. Because if it's fear, then I'm not going to be sincere whenever I'm evangelizing. I'm not going to try to understand what that person's saying. I'm just going to be like, all right, do it and then go. No. If it's love, I just go to that person. I'm sincere with what I had to say. Even if it's just one, I'm sincere with the message. And then I talk to them. And I share the good news with them. But yeah, that's just my main point in today's video. It's just about evangelizing, you know? 
And if you do evangelize, props to you. And it's not even like a fear thing. Like, sure, we all have a fear of going up to that person, right? But like, if you literally just go up to them, you could just be like, how's your day going? You know? And then you could say, would you like to talk about the afterlife? And if they say yes, then ask them, would you consider yourself to be a good person? And if they say yes, give them four out of the Ten Commandments, because you don't really need all of them. You could just say, lying, stealing, blaspheming, and lust. And you could even include to what Jesus said on lust, whosoever looks at a woman and to lust for her has committed adultery with her in his heart. So you could include that with lust, and then after that fact, you could go and say, if God were to give you justice, we only looked at four out of the Ten Commandments, or maybe five if you want to include honor thy father and thy mother. You could say, would you consider yourself to be innocent or guilty? And if and everyone is going to say guilty because not one person hasn't sinned. And if they repent and trust in Christ, they'll be saved. That's it. You know, and then you bring the good news, you know, of Christ, you know. And the good news is Jesus died on the cross for our sins. That's why he said it is finished before he died because he ultimately paid the price for what we did on the cross and he died and then three days later he rose on the third day and yeah now we have everlasting life because of that and my main point here is right is after you give them the ten commandments and then you're like would you consider yourself to be innocent or guilty and of course as i said they'd be guilty and Again, you only have to give four, as I said, like lying, stealing, blaspheming, and lust. And I know I'm repeating myself, but it's just trying to get the points very concise. That way you can literally just write it down. And yeah, that's really it. All you literally have to do is just ask them if they're a good person, and bam, it works. And the reason why it works is because it's not only a fear, it's out of love, man. Like, it's genuinely out of love. Sure, it could be some fear involved, but this is a good fear. It's like when you touch a stove, you don't want to burn your hand, you know, so you don't touch the stove, okay? Like, sure, you may initially touch it, but then you don't do it again because it burned you, you know? So, my main point here is, if you repent and trust in Christ, you'll be saved. And that should be the underlying message, you know, with evangelizing. And it's not really that hard. Again, all you really have to do is just, you know, ask them if they're a good person. And that doesn't need to be the way to start the conversation. You know, you could just say, Would, how's your day going? You know, what are your thoughts on the afterlife and whatnot. But my main point is once you get to the four out of the Ten Commandments and then they say, yes, they're not a good person. Then after that, you could share the good news of Christ and how he died on the cross and he bled for our sins. That's why he said it is finished. And if you repent and trust in him, you'll be saved. And genuine repentance, as I said, is turning from your sins and not playing the hypocrite. And also trusting in Christ. And again, you can use many examples with that. You know, you could use the parachute example from if you're 10,000 feet up in the air, you're about to jump out of the plane, you're obviously going to trust in that parachute, right? And then you could use other examples such as, you know, you're on a boat, you're about to jump in the water, but uh, you can say like 20 miles out in the ocean, and then you have a boat, you're, you're obviously going to be in a boat, right? And that is to what you're going to be trusting in Christ like, like that boat, you know? You're going to be trusting him like that boat, you're going to hope that the boat is going to work, you know, and that it's going to do what it needs to do. Like, if you're 20 miles out in a boat, you're obviously going to be staying in the boat. You're not going to be like, I don't trust this boat, and I'm going to hop out of the boat, and then you're just going to be drowning, you know? And there's not going to be any life jackets on there, so obviously you're going to be trusting the boat. Now, personally, I would have life jackets on that boat, but 
you know, you're just on a boat. And that's my main point, is you're going to be trusting on the boat, and that's really it, trusting in Christ, like you would trust your basic things. And actually, I would elevate your trust in not only Christ, but, but, but God on another level, you know, like reading Scripture daily. And if you do read Scripture daily, you'll be like a tree near a stream, you'll be deeply rooted. And even in times of harsh seasons, you will prevail. So, anyways, as usual, have yourselves a good one. I know I went over quite a bit in the doctrine today, you know. But my main point is, you know, if you repent and trust, you will be saved. And that's all you have to do with evangelizing. It's literally that simple. But again, I would literally just start off a conversation like, hey, how's your day going? And you know what? Here's another thing. If they really don't want to talk about the afterlife, you know, and they say no, you know, you could literally just be like, well, you got any plans for the weekend or something like that. And then you could elevate the conversation from there. And then if they really don't want to talk any further, then you can just leave them be, you know. And if they really, really do open up about the afterlife, share it with them in a heartbeat and let them know the good news of what Christ did for our sins. Thank you guys for watching. And I know I already did in my outro. So, peace out.